Well, summer may be coming to an end, but there are plenty of fun ways to keep learning and for students and parents alike. So we're starting to see plenty of hands-on ways that people can start learning AI skills with the new technology of generative AI. We talk a lot about AI on this program. So we thought we'd bring in tech expert Mark Saltzman this morning to talk more about this. Mark, great to have you here to talk about something like this. And I, you yeah. know, I love what's happening here in this space. Why is it important though for people, whether you're a parent or a child, to have these digital skills in areas like AI and generative AI? Yeah, great question. Well, for one, the need for digital skills, including AI knowledge, is growing in Canada. CP24, in fact, uh, uh, reported earlier this year that 80% of Canadian companies are going to be investing heavily in AI in the next five years. And they're willing to pay, pre uh, employers are willing to pay a 25% premium hmm. if the candidates have any AI experience. Yet, ironically, three quarters of those companies' surveys said they're having trouble finding people to learn AI. Interesting. So the trick is you've you got to get comfortable with the technology first. And so companies like AWS, Amazon's uh, web services, they are, they've got hundreds of free digital courses that you can take completely free. free. Yeah, what? they started doing this with the cloud. Over 31 million people around the world are already leveraging it. Hmm. And now they're, uh, of, of course, adding AI and generative AI to their arsenal. Hmm. And there's fun ways to do it. We're looking at one here called Crikey AI where you upload a video of yourself and it will create an animated 3D character. This is an avatar that you can then control and you learn how it works. No coding experience necessary. You don't need a degree in computer science. Yeah. Uh, and it's fun and it's a, just it's a, all about comfort and, yeah. and having fun with it. And then you can parlay that into some certification in uh -huh. order to uh, you know, upskill or reskill. Geez, crikey kind of makes it, reminds me of like the, the alligator, the crocodile yeah, hunter. Crikey, right? that's yeah, exactly. Australians yeah, say. Yeah, exactly. Right? Okay, <laughs> all right. But people often want to gain skills, Mark, you know, in areas like AI, but they need to know where to start or where they need to go back. How do you suggest people could start learning? Is it Crikey or are there other S Yeah, there's so many too? others. So Crikey is one sort of way to, to uh, get your feet wet here. Uh, there's other apps like Party Rock for, uh, powered by AWS, which is mm -hmm. great. This is a way, Nick, to create apps without any coding experience. You go to this uh, website. Again, it's powered by AWS. Party Rock is the name of the platform. And then just by with a couple of prompts, you can have uh, apps that help you with wine pairing, how to split tips with your friends at a oh. restaurant, you can generate apps on uh, to create album covers based on your favorite musical taste. The, the limits are, wow. you know, it's endless. Yeah. Uh, what you can do without any coding experience. Party Rock is great. There's over a half million apps already created by people like me who, even though I'm a techie, I yeah. can't write a, a line of code. Uh, this okay. is just great. So this is something that you should definitely you check out. You can't code. I'm, I'm oh, intrigued yeah. by that. Yeah. I kind of assume that someone like you probably can code. So that really makes it more open to all of us who might be a little bit intimidated. So that's a great way to yeah. sort, of, sort of dip your toes in the water, I suppose. I know it's back to school season but even you know, adults, yeah. uh, parents of, of kids, I, I, it's great to upskill. And again, yeah. it's all about comfort. You know, AWS says that we retain about 10% of what we read, but 90% yeah. of what we do or practice. So it's hands-on yes. learning yeah. for free with these yeah. digital courses and apps. Okay, I'm really curious about this, but what if you're not necessarily the best person for learning in front of a screen? Are there mm -hmm. alternatives that can still help you? Yeah, well, as I was saying, doing is better than just reading. Yeah. But, so if you don't like screens with Party Rock or Crikey AI, Blast Motion is a great example of leveraging uh, technology from AWS because it fuses sensors that you put uh, on devices like uh, baseball bats and, okay. and golf clubs in order to enhance your swing, powered by AI. Right. And uh, yeah, again, it, you know, Nick, that technology changes everything, every industry, and sports is no exception. So it's whether it's tweaking your swing and then learning how to leverage that with AI, yeah. uh, or uh, you know, making games, which I, I think we're going to end off with, yeah. uh, you know, fantasy games that are again teaching the basics of coding and critical thinking, machine learning, without having to have major skills. So Blast Motion is one example, and yeah, uh, yeah there, there, there's uh, AWS Cloud Quest, which is great. Another example of of the gamification yeah. of education. Having that dangling carrot to keep you engaged, it has to be fun, uh, and then you can parlay that into certification. Yeah, I mean, sure. making it fun is so important, right? Because, you know, sometimes it can feel, if it feels like learning, it can be a bit of a struggle, but if you can make it fun, I mean, you've already got me hooked on, I want to get onto this as soon as I get off the show this morning. Uh, so tell <laughs> us more about golf the, swing, well, right? improve my golf <laughs> swing, or, you know, improve my anchoring, perhaps, uh, but tell us more about the fun element, too. And yeah, how well, helps. look, yeah. as you can see clearly, there's so many examples of, of uh, how technology can be fun. Making an app, 
may not be for you. May not that may be a little bit out of your you know. But there's over 600 different courses you can take. Right. You know, something for everyone. So with AW Cloud Quest, you can learn the basics of coding uh, by blasting robots and uh, mm -hmm. befriending little virtual pets. And look, it's teaching you, as you can see here in the background, right. all the the the. It's not just about on the front the the the, the layer on the front. You you peel it back and you learn how it works. Mm -hmm. The mechanics of gaming, the mechanics of coding, uh, artificial intelligence, and Gen AI, as you know, is the big buzzword. So companies are looking. You know, yeah. they're looking. They're looking to uh, to uh, bolster their mm -hmm. their workforce with uh, with AI. And it starts with making it fun, accessible, and free. The one website you just need to learn is or remember is SkillBuilder.AWS, and that will be sort of your launch pad into so many different fun and free ways to uh, to get some tech knowledge there. Yeah, Mark, you and I are about the same age. I remember we were moving a triangle around the screen back in elementary school. <laughs> look how and now far look it's at come. this. This is remarkable. Yeah. Good to talk to you about this. Likewise. Mark Salzman, tech guru, uh, bringing us the latest on uh, generative AI and how to learn from it. This is really fascinating. Appreciate the time, Mark. Me too. Thanks Have so much. Have a great much, long Nick. weekend. And to you. Yeah. Thank you.